officially called hell in 1841, not much is particularly noteworthy about this Michigan town besides its unusual name. Indeed, with winter lows in the teens, it bears little resemblance to the mental image most have of the biblical inferno. So where is the real hell? Majority of the Christian world believe that it's a literal place of torment that the devil runs down in the earth with red leotards with a tail and pitchfork. But that could not be further from the truth. The word of God says in the book of Revelation chapter 20 verses 7 through 9. And when the thousand years are expired, Satan shall be loosed out of his prison and shall go out to deceive the nations which are in the four quarters of the earth, Gog and Magog, to gather them together to battle, the number of whom is as the sand of the sea. And they went up on the breadth of the earth, and compassed the camp of the saints about, and the beloved city, and fire came down from God out of heaven, and devoured them. So this hellfire happens on the earth, also known as the lake of fire that devours the wicked. The wicked are completely burned up. There's nothing left. They are destroyed. So it is comforting to know they will not be in torment for all of eternity. To learn more on this eternal hellfire, I went into more detail on a previous video. So I encourage you to check that out. But notice how on this next verse, in verse 10, it also says that the devil himself was also thrown into the lake of fire. He will be destroyed as well, so he isn't in charge of anything. The book of 2 Peter chapter 3 verses 5-7 through seven says, For this they willfully are ignorant of that by the word of God the heavens were of old and the earth standing out of the water and in the water whereby the world that then was being overflowed with water perished but the heavens and the earth which are now by the same word are kept in store reserved unto fire against the day of judgment and perdition of ungodly men. So there was a time in this earth's history that God destroyed this world with a flood and that was at the time of Noah. Now there will be coming a time very shortly from now where this world will be destroyed by fire and the wicked are being reserved for this fire on judgment day. Jump down to verses 10 through 13. But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night and the which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. The earth also, and the works that are therein, shall be burned up. Seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved, what manner of persons ought ye to be in all holy conversation and godliness, looking for and hasting unto the coming of the day of God, wherein the heavens being on fire shall be dissolved, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. Nevertheless, we, according to his promise, look for new heavens and a new earth, wherein dwelleth righteousness. This hellfire is going to do more than destroy this world and the wicked in it. It's going to be so hot, it will melt the very elements, the heavens above, and the earth itself. It's all going to burn, beloved. Hell is not a mysterious location hidden deep in the earth. Rather, it is the earth itself. And all the effects of thousands of years of sin that will be burnt up and destroyed. This cleansing fire will cover the surface of the whole earth and even into the sky, which has also been polluted by humankind. Once the world, or once this work is complete, God will create a new earth, one with no stain of sin to mar its incredible beauty. But notice the good news. 
God promises to create a new heaven and a new earth where dwelleth righteousness. Listen, if you actually thought God's people will be living in heaven floating on clouds, looking like naked babies playing harps, brothers and sisters, you were dead wrong. Jesus says in the book of Matthew, chapter 5 and verse 5, Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. We will be living on earth. What I need to do is make a video on what it's going to be like after the new heavens and earth are created. Because it is going to be great. But anyway, this is John Tinsley with Everlasting Rock Ministries. And always remember, the truth never fails. God bless you.